What's up YouTube? This is Arm bringing you an unpackaging slash gameplay sample and interface review of DC Comics and Justice Gods Among Us. Uh, I know this game is scheduled to officially be released next week on Tuesday the 16th, but thanks to a spot here in my local hometown, I'm not going to say their name. Um, I got an early copy of it and I'm very excited about it. You know, ever since I've heard about this game and played samples of it at WonderCon, I've been hyped about it. Um, as I said before, it's like Mortal Kombat dipped in DC Comics. And I'm a avid fighting game fan, so, you know, it's a perfect mix of everything I like. Um, you can see right here on the cover, you see Cyborg, Wonder Woman, we have the Joker, Flash, Green Lantern, Superman vs. Batman. And I'm not quite sure who that is laying down right there. Hmm. Green Arrow. Okay. Well, at least he's on a cover. <laughs> this is a game that's been produced by WB Games. Um, on the back, you just have some gameplay samples. What if our greatest heroes became our greatest threat? Then they have it in three different languages. Uh, there's a symbol right here for the best of 2012 um, Game Critics Award winner at E3. Okay, so <clears throat> you know you, you have your basic, your standard um, packaging from any as from any PS3 game. Yeah, it's the version I got PS3. So I'm gonna open this right here on camera as if I open all my video games so as you take some scissors and puncture it in that little open space right there run it through peel this plastic off pop open the game as you can see on the Blu-ray, um, the Blu-ray art, we have the logo of Just Injustice Gods Among Us. There's Harley Quinn. You can see Superman behind Superman in the shadows. You can see Solomon Grundy, Wonder Woman, Batman, and the Flash. Right here. We just have the in in user license agreement, software license information, customer support, um, stuff about physicians. You know, if you get epilepsy playing video games, yada yada yada. Then we have an injustice products catalog. Yeah, of course they they're gonna hawk their products and stuff. But you know what? I think this game, since it's related to comic books, it's gonna have some of the best products to hawk with the action figures, the the comic books, the fight stick. music album excuse that, that was my phone uh, action figures Batman, Joker, Superman oh they have a hat I have a newer 5950 hat fitted cap featured in Justice Gods among his logo with the graphite crown and visor Okay, and then they have a Superman Unbound movie. You know, I haven't seen that film yet. They have iPhone cases. I think I might pick that hat up. That's pretty badass. Uh, more action figures. I, I will, however, collect the action figures. I'm not sure if I'll just collect my favorites or just you know be set on getting the entire set. But you know, you see they have a Deathstroke figure, Green Arrow. Solomon Grundy, um, Wonder Woman, Superman, Nightwing, Harley Quinn, the Cyborg. And then here are the actual comic books, Injustice Gods Among Us, number one, number two, and number three. This is the reason why I did want to get the collector set at first, but I was on a waiting list and I was probably going to get one. And then you treated with a silhouette of the Justice League heroes from the new 52 
we can be heroes. Okay, so that's a look at everything that pretty much comes with the initial game. So I'm going to take a little break right here and I'm going to do a, re a quick look at some of the user interface, um, some of the content that comes with the actual game itself, and some gameplay. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. I just like to apologize for some of the visual artifacting going on here. I have my tripod on my with my camera standing up as high as I can get it. Uh, plus, my TV is up a bit high on the wall. It's 65 inch, and I have the camera standing back. So, you know, I got most of the picture in there. Um, pretty much prior to this, I downloaded the uh, the season pass so I can have the extra skins, the extra characters, and the extra content. Um, right here. You can see I'm on the main screen with the Injustice Gods visuals, um, the PlayStation um, disc symbol, and the artwork in the background is Wonder Woman fighting uh, Batman with Superman in the background and Solomon Grundy. Uh, this isn't going to be a review as much as it is a first look as if I'm playing this game for the first time and the types of things I will look for. So here we go. I usually press start through most of these types of things, but usually you leave it alone, you get treated with a really good intro video that shows some of the story origin. press start button so there's no pre start button um, intro video I press the start button you see the injustice gods logo is their loading screen icon you have single player multiplayer create a link Create or link a WBA account for free exclusive new 52 flash game. Yeah. Alright, let's already have that. So it's asking me to connect my account. Um, I don't currently have a Warner Brothers ID account, but I will I'll skip that for now. And I'll create it later. So as you can see, there's some visuals moving around in the background. I just saw Superman, Heat Vision. We see oh, some water. Wow. These are some really good high definition graphics. I have this in full 1080 right now. Uh, the modes we have are single player, multiplayer, settings, and bonus features. Let's see what bonus features we have Hero Card, Archives, Downloadable Content, Superman Unbound, and Credits. So let's see what this Superman Unbound is. This film comes. It calls itself Brainiac. I am flesh and machine. This is the film that was advertised in the catalog. The strength of 10,000 worlds. Okay, I'm not going to spoil the entire preview. These if you haven't actually seen it already, that I'm sure many people are resourceful enough to get this movie no, through the internet. So you have a preview of that movie. Let's see hero cards. Let's see if anyone, if any of them come with the game. Okay. Ah, I, I've unlocked the trophy just for looking at a hero card. So you have single player history for the different characters. We check out Black Adam.
They're just stats. Stuff, same type of stuff you find in Marvel's Capcom 3. Oh, you can even, you even have an option to customize them. Uh, you can customize your icons, the backgrounds, and the portraits of the characters. Let's see. And, you know, you have a few of them unlocked already. The first icon they have is for the standard symbol for the game. You know, similar online features that, um, more like Super Street Fighter 4. Archives. What's in the archives? Can't have much in there. I haven't played the game yet. But, uh, you're treated with some more extras here character bios, concept art, uh, music player, background art, costumes. Hmm. You have armory keys and access cards. I'm sure you'll win those throughout the gameplay. Let's go back to bonus features. It takes me back to the main menu, menu every time. Downloadable content. Redeem code. That's for new characters and costumes. And I'm sure this links you directly to the store where you can purchase the content and just in God's Among Us Flash pack and then the season pass which I already I would just purchased you can see it's checked off and Flashpoint skin pack is free okay so see multiplayer modes they have versus they have online for multiplayer Single player. This is a first time plan. Single. Would you like to go to tutorial to learn the basics? Let me see what's online first. Uh, single player. Uh, oh, well, it tuck me on to the menu anyway. You can play the story, battles, Star Labs, single fight, and there's training. Multiplayer. You know, you have verses to see for some sub menus or verses. Okay. Standard versus screen, but while we're here, we might as well look at the characters. We have Batman, Nightwing, The Flash. We have Cyborg, Green Arrow, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Raven, Hawk Girl, Captain Marvel, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, Sinestro, Black Adam, Bane, Solomon Grundy, Killer Frost. Uh, we have Ares, Lex Luthor, Catwoman. Deathstroke, Solomon Grundy. Oh, okay, my bad. This is Doomsday, not Solomon Grundy. Solomon Grundy, Harley Quinn, and we have the Joker. Those are the characters. So, you know, you've seen some of the modes. I'm just going to cut straight to single player and do a test match. Let's just play a story. Uh, start a new game. Say without a doubt, there are an infinite number of universes, some of them just like our own, but for one or two significant events, exactly the same. Lex Luthor. Metropolis and ruins, the Delhi Planet Globe. Yeah, this 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 is definitely a post-apocalyptic dystopia. Metropolis destroyed, millions dead. Breaking news.
Sounds like the Joker. The new. Where'd you get it? What? You want one? That sounds like Kevin Conroy. Hmm. Little Heath Ledger inspired Joker right there. Some of the cut along the side of his mouth. Get away from him. I'm handling this. You drugged me. Make me. Lois. My son. There's Krypton. Now Metropolis. People you love tend to blow up. Small time. Somebody murders a Joker. It's open the scene. Superman murders the Joker elsewhere. Yeah, Ares fighting Superman. I didn't know Ares can fly. Oh, that's badass. I didn't know DC's version of Ares can fly. Sinestro. Black Adam. Very non flying Wonder Woman. I gotta get to the watchtower. Before Luthor throws something I'm not quite sure. That sounds like the Wonder Woman from Justice League Unlimited. Should have been a combined assault. Clark sometimes forgets he can't do everything himself. This is a mean, gruff looking man we evil raven, ra raven right here. Now, Deathstroke. 
joke. His money is greed, and as a bonus, I get to kill Batman. Okay, it starts me off in a match versus Deathstroke. So I'm just gonna button smash and do what I can until I get used to the fighting curve here. The Batman he has battle rings. Really easy controls. The game is fast and responsive. Look at that, Batman has flash bombs for Sky. He has all types of batterings and long range weapons. Martial arts moves. It's almost like playing Arkham Asylum here. So I'm just going to handle old Slade right here. And that's the end of this video because I know this video ran long. So thank you for checking out this video. As you can see also the pause screen with standard fighting games you get treated to a, a move list. Um, thank you for checking out this video on PSN. I am arm underscore 562. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. And I hope you enjoy. Peace.